Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions, Marie's Take. BLM activist Jill, after spending money she raised for youth group on herself. Again, that's why I don't like to participate in some kind of supposedly created group, people that are fighting for the race, uh, Black Lives Matter, all kind of stuff here and there. People sometimes, do you know sometimes people are praying on the most innocent to use their platform to use their fame collect the cash collect the money and spend it on themselves this is not the first case i have seen it before an organizer of a black life matter protest used her profile to raise money for charity and then spend it on herself <laughs> a judge said as she was jailed for two and a half years Zara Salum, now age 23, gained a high public profile as a member of the Black Lives Matter March in Bristol in 2020, formed as a response to the murder of black men George Floyd by police in the USA. They're taking that, uh, advantage, taking opportunity to guard cash for themselves. They don't care for Black Lives Matter. I don't care for us. It's just a word. Salim from Renford, East London, previously gu pleaded guilty to fraud by abusing her position as director of Changing Your Mindset by transferring money to her personal bank accounts and then spending it between June 2020 and September 2021. Judge Michael Longman sentencing at Bristol Crown Court said Salim had gained a high public profile from her BLM involvement and she had used it with the help of others to raise money to try to support young people in the St. Paul's area of Bristol. Money funded lifestyle she could not afford. That happens all the time. We see it all the time. The judge told Salim this was a worthwhile cause, but that money you then use not for the benefit, but for your own funding a lifestyle for yourself that you could not otherwise have afforded. The prosecution said that in the 15 months to September 2021, there were more than 2,500 payments made from Salim's account, which included standard living expenses such as general shopping and bills, plus a new iPhone, hair and beauty appointments, clothes, store, um, Amazon purchase, taxi, and takeaways. Hmm. Eh. <laughs> the court heard that Salim appeared to be devoted to the cause and someone who could be trusted and she came into contact with community worker rebecca scott who helped her set up the black life matter march the judge said saloon then in gratitude offered to set set up a fundraising page which went live in 2020 with the money raised being earmarked for projects to help the young in st paul's the page was set up around the time of the demonstration in Bristol that ended with a statue of Edward Carlston being toppled into the city's harbor. A, a youth organization called Changing Your Mindset, LTD, was set up, which plainly had a charitable purpose, the judge added. Salim became a director along with other who with others who were already active in the St. Paul's community, but setting up business account as intended at the point was difficult. Amat raise exceeded expectation, the judge said. The Amat raise exceeded expectations by a significant margin and raised over thirty two thousand euro. In the absence of the business account to pay the money into the decision was made to pay it into your own account as an interim measure 
the orders involved in the project trusted you to hold the funds securely until a better arrangement could be made. That was a mistake right there. Eventually, such as an account was set up in April 2021, there should have been no reason why the money could not be transferred into that account, but problems became apparent. The money was not transferred and you made excuses for that failure. Earlier, the prosecution had said that Saloon transferred several hundreds pounds into the account of a relative in July 2020 with the reference Fred, hold it for me please, and add it. From that point onward, the food gates opened and defendant used the money freely with no funds being credited to the account to cover the shortfall. Again, guys, those young kids in their 20s, they see nothing but themselves. They want to look glamorous. They want to look good, feel good about themselves. But the problem is they don't work hard for their money. They want to use excuse like Black Lives Matter to bring the fun to them. And I'm glad they were able to cut her craziness, spending money, looking like a celebrity, looking like she she has it like that. And in reality, she doesn't, you know. It's a sad ending to see that people will use that situation, seeing a white officer erase a black man in the public eye was recorded and you use that to fund it your crazy lifestyle. I don't think it's fair. Salum eventually admitted the money had gone, but put forward contradictory excuses as to why the court heard. She also offered to report herself to the police, but didn't. The court heard that in June 2021, it was found that Salim had discussed the fraud over WhatsApp with a friend telling them, I have done something horrendous you can't tell anyone until i have properly sorted it out <laughs> oh draft apology messages were also found on her phone salim claimed she had suffered from psychosis which stopped her from thinking with <laughs> rationally really changing your mindset has since closed down. Salim, who had said she feels we must, had originally pleaded not guilty. Listen, you could have made it a little bit further because by you having this program supposedly to help the young youth, could have opened so many other doors for you, but because you're greedy and dumb and ridiculous, you were so into seeing so much money coming in, in the account you've probably never seen before. You could not resist your temptation and you mess it up for everybody else that could really have, you know, used that fund to help them, you know, give them a better life, whether it's for schooling, whether it's for a community activities and stuff. But greed, greed will make you do anything. And if you don't have self-control, you're going to fall for it. Subscribe and let me know how you feel. Bye.